Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for October 20th of 2024 is titled Dark Matter in a Simulated Universe. So what do we see here? Well, here we see a simulation so showing the structure of the universe. And we see that it is composed mainly here of two different types of matter. Now the orange is the ordinary matter. That's the stuff we see every day. The stuff that we and the stars and galaxies are made up of. So ordinary atoms, things like hydrogen and helium and oxygen and carbon, all of those things are the ordinary matter that we see. But what overwhelms it, and you can kind of see this spidery filamentary structure going through, is what is called dark matter. Dark matter is an unknown type of matter. It is not like ordinary matter and cannot be uh, ordin made up of ordinary matter in any way because that kind of thing would, would give off some kind of energy that we could detect. So it is some other type of material, perhaps some weird exotic particle uh, of type that it permeates the universe. Now, because it doesn't interact with things like ordinary light or electromagnetic radiation of any kind, it was able to clump together earlier in the history of the universe. So while ordinary matter was still spread pretty much uniformly, the dark matter was able to start condensing and forming pockets. And those have become the structures that we see in the universe today. And because the dark matter does have gravity, it then pulls in other material. So the ordinary matter, the stuff that we're made up of, then fell into the gravitational wells formed by the dark matter and then became the galaxy clusters that we see today. So this gives us an idea of how everything is structured. We can see the large clusters and super clusters of galaxies scattered around here. But we can see how they are limited in where they are. And we can see that there are large areas where there is nothing or very little matter. So that means no ordinary matter and no dark matter either. So the universe is really split into these filaments that wind throughout the universe like a spider web and the voids which really have essentially nothing in them. And that again means no galaxies, no stars, no gas or dust, nothing in those uh, pretty much. And then of course there is another type of uh, mass and energy of form that is even more prevalent than these two because these two both interact gravitationally they should cause the universe to slow down over time meaning that it should have been expanding faster in the past than it is now however measurements are showing that the universe is actually speeding up instead and that is attributed to what we call dark energy and dark energy is therefore pushing things apart so it is a kind of pressure that just pushes everything apart causing materials to expand faster and faster and the space between those giant clusters of galaxies expands faster over time now so further studies trying to understand these mysterious types of material that we find in the universe, the dark matter that we see and the dark energy, which make up together about 96% of the mass and energy in the entire universe, leaving just that little 4% for everything that we are used to seeing. So that was our picture of the day for October 20th of 2024. It was titled Dark Matter in a Simulated Universe. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.